Simon Overland returned to the Royal Commission to face some awkward questions about diaries he'd previously said didn't exist. I, I didn't think I'd kept a diary. In fact, three of his diaries were found in a police storage facility just before Christmas. They've prompted Mr Overland to change various parts of his evidence about Nicola Gobbo. In your first statement where you say that you didn't know at all, well, that's <coughs> clearly wrong. Well, I have accepted that it is wrong. The diaries, it seems, have also refreshed his memory on whether Christine Nixon knew about Ms Gobbo's recruitment. Late last year, Mr Overland was unsure. I don't recall uh, when or if I had a conversation with Chief Commissioner Nixon. But now... I spoke to the Chief Commissioner about the fact that uh, Ms Gobbo was registered as a human source. That's at odds with Ms Nixon's sworn evidence in December. I have absolutely no recollection of people who are telling me that. Do you think that that's something that you ought to have been told? Of course. Um, who do you hold responsible for that? People like um, Simon Overland. Now it's been suggested Mr Overland might not have mentioned Ms Gobbo by name. I think that's unlikely. I think that's unlikely. Look, I can't exclude it. I think it's unlikely. The diaries shed new light on what Simon Overland knew about Nicola Gobbo's role, but he still says he was never told she was ratting on clients like Tony Mockbell. You um, uh, would have known that she was um, Mr Mockbell's lawyer? No, I don't believe I did. Mr Overland will continue his evidence tomorrow. Danny Morgan, ABC News, Melbourne.